Okay, sorry for the distance disturbance. So let us continue, children. <coughs> so where were we? Here, this side has deoxygenated blood and this side has oxygenated blood. Is it? Now, what happens? In this way, the blood from various body part comes here, here from lungs it comes here. When both auricular contract, these both auricles they contract. Due to the contraction made by these two auricles, what happens? Blood deoxygenated blood comes here, here oxygenated. Correct. So deoxygenated blood present in the right auricle and oxygenated blood present in the left auricle is pumped down now to ventricles. From auricle it pumped down to ventricles. And there is there are walls. Due to the presence of walls, tri speed wall, by speed wall. There are four walls present. The walls act as a door. As the door allows us to entry and exit, is it? So the walls in the heart, the four types of walls in the heart, they act, they allow the blood to flow in one direction from right auricle to right ventricle. Left auricle to left ventricle. So here, between this right auricle and right ventricle, tricuspid walls are located. And between this left auricle and left ventricle, bicuspid walls are located. In addition to this tricuspid wall and bicuspid wall, there are two more walls such as aortic semilunar wall, aortic semilunar wall and pulmonary semilunar wall. Aortic semilunar wall and pulmonary semilunar wall. So altogether there are four walls present. Tricuspid wall, bicuspid wall, aortic semilunar wall and pulmonary semilunar wall. These are the four walls present. They allow the and they prevent the mixing of blood. We, also, we say that this side, right side of the heart has deoxygenated blood, left side of the heart has oxygenated blood. The mixing of blood also get prevented by the wall. Is it? So, what I can say is that when both the auricle contracts, the blood from auricle is further pumped down into ventricles. From here, it is pumped down into this. From here, it is pumped down into this only. Are you getting? So here it will be deoxygenated. Here left ventricle oxygenated. Here deoxygenated blood. Here in this chamber oxygenated. So here from right ventricle. This is the right ventricle. So the which blood vessel opens into this chamber? Pulmonary artery. And this chamber systemic artery. There are two blood vessels opens into this right. Ventricle like this is left ventricle. Additionally, pulmonary artery is opening into this right ventricle and systemic artery. So, this systemic artery and pulmonary artery. Now, this pulmonary artery is opening into right ventricle, but that gives two branches. This pulmonary artery. There's two branches of story. One goes to right lung and the other branch goes to left lung. See, the pulmonary artery which is opening into uh, right ventricle is further dividing this pulmonary artery, opening into right ventricle. That gives two branches. One branch goes to right lung and the other goes to left lung. They connect further. So, what happens? The deoxygenated blood through pulmonary artery is further again supplied to the lungs. In lungs, it becomes oxygenated. In this way. And the systemic artery gives many branches. The systemic artery, which is opening into the left ventricle, gives many branches. And they are further connected to the various organs of our body. Through which the different organs of our body receives oxygenated blood. In this way, the cycle repeats double circulation.
and this is a double circuit because this circulatory system in human being involves two circuits. What are the two circuits here? Switch it. This is one circuit we can see. This PA is a pulmonary no? artery. This is one circuit. Pulmonary circuit we can call. And this is a systemic circuit. Pulmonary circuit, systemic circuit. Pulmonary circuit, what it involves? Collection of deoxygenated blood and supply. Collection and supply of deoxygenated blood. That involves pulmonary circuit. And here, collection and supply of oxygenated blood involves systemic circuit. In systemic circuit, what is happening? From lungs, oxygenated blood is coming to the heart. Heart is pumping it. Further, the oxygenated blood is moving to the body parts. So, systemic circuit, systemic circuit involves collection and supply of oxygenated blood, pure blood. And this pulmonary circuit involves collection and supply of deoxygenated blood. What deoxygenated blood? From various body parts, the impure blood, deoxygenated blood is collected, got to the heart, heart pumps it. Further, through pulmonary artery, that deoxygenated blood is sent to the lungs for oxygenation. So, this is pulmonary circuit which involves collection and supply of impure blood. Systemic circuit involves collection and supply of pure blood. In this way, this pumping device works. So, we will stop here today. The rest part, remaining part of this will revise in the next class. So, thank you, everyone.